Hey everybody, so welcome to my new video. I am going to show you a date night makeup tutorial because I'm going on a date tonight. I'm going to Monday Night Raw, which I've never been to. Oh, plenty! Because I've now officially become a wrestling fan and I'm really excited. But I'm wearing more of a kind of a rockery black with jeans and studs and things like that. So I wanted a little bit more of a zhuzh look. So now you're gonna find out how we got it. The reason why I'm doing the eyes first also is because I'm doing a somewhat more of a nighttime, smoky, sexy eye. So I really, just to prevent from like any fallout underneath the eyes because I think we, we really, I love like bright under eyes. Um, and sometimes I can be a bit messy. These are the best things in the world. I know. I cannot do any scene in any show without starting with these in the morning. Yeah, I, I really love putting the five patches inside the refrigerator just so it, it cools them down a little bit, so it really just freshens up the under eye. So this is like a, um, a soft brown. I love like I love like a soft brown just to be in the in the transition color. So I'm just adding a little bit of um, a shadow into the crease. I'm really just like um, putting the the depth like within the outer part. Part, part of the crease where they really want the eyes to be like very sexy, pulled out a little bit. Yeah, I love, I love that. She loves when her eyes are pulled out, so I it's like a little cat. cat eye. Always trying to be Helena Christensen and a cat. So <laughs> instead, of, instead of doing it with a eyeliner, I'm doing it with a shadow, just extending the, the shadow out. And I'm using two brushes because I want to have a clean brush and then a brush that um, packs on the pigment. I found Patrick on Instagram before even Instagram was a really big deal. And it was before the Oscars. Oscar yeah, I had just Oscar. I had just moved to Los Angeles and Jenna was, was like my first actress and she gave me a chance and I was like so nervous. Oh my gosh. But I think it was, it was my first time working also working with Jenna Kim. Yes, that's right. Oh my gosh, it was the very first time we all we all got together and then I had had Evie. So I think it was also like the first experience doing glam fall. Like I yeah. was completely breastfeeding the Just entire time. Breastfeeding, like running around, and having a Just having like, a, like a full huh? being full mommy. I love a bold lip. I also do like a smoky eye. I love clean, glowy skin with a strong lip. Always trying to get glitter in there somewhere or shimmer. I it's the dancer in me. I can never. Remember I wore glitter eyeliner for so long just on the reg during the day. I still kind of think I'm going to bring that back. But the one thing I don't like and I always, you'll probably hardly ever see me in is like a really like washed out nude lip. No. She hates a nude lip. I love a nude I lip. Love Do a you nude like lip. it on me? I like it on you when you have a smoky eye. Jenna loves, Jenna loves a good eyebrow. She loves like uh -huh. a, like a berry lip. I do not which, which I hate. You do? <laughs> I you hate it. So I'm just, now I'm just adding a little bit of a dark um, black shadow just on the lash line to kind of smoke out the eyes a little bit. I'm not I'm not I'm putting um, a shadow instead of a, a liner because I don't want them to, I don't want the eyes to be too harsh. I want to look it to look more diffused and look soft. So. By adding shadow, it just like kind of gives you that like smoky gradient cat eye. Okay, so now that the eyes are basically done on top, I can take off these these eye pads. You 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 can see that they really like helped um, shape the eyes. So now I'm moving on to foundation. So I'm putting foundation. Um, starting from the center of the face, working my way towards the perimeter. I'm not putting too much foundation on the under eyes because I'm going to add concealer there. So I don't want to like layer too many products underneath the eyes. I'm just putting this on with a brush. I like applying foundation with a brush first and then blending it, letting it in with a sponge. So I'm, I'm applying a little bit of contour right now. So I'm using a cream contour and I'm just using a brush to kind of push the product on. I'm not really going in like swiping motion, I'm just going in pressing motion, then I'm just really like just stippling the bronzer. I'm just stippling the product on the high points of the cheekbones and not bringing it too far down. I'm basically just stopping like right where like the end of the eyeshadow will be and then I'm just pushing 
I'm pushing it in. Just applying a little Sorry. bit of concealer now. Maybe like maybe not a little bit. I'm applying like a generous amount of concealer just underneath the eyes onto the high points of I mean down the, down the middle of the nose. I'm gonna create okay. like create like a little tree like um <laughs> tree like <laughs> shape. Look at that. Isn't that a nice little tree? A little bit around the mouth, on the chin. Kind of before I blend it in with my beauty blender, I'm gonna move the product to where I want it first before pushing it in with my blender. And for this part, I'm actually not stippling. I'm gonna actually just like pull a little bit because the brush that I am using, it's, it's, it's a lot more um, small brush, so I can really control where, where like the product is going. But you can see like her under eye is brightening up. And everywhere else, I'm just gonna slowly like move and Really, they just like work the product into all like the neighbors. So I want like the contour to blend in with the highlight, the foundation to blend in with the highlight and the contour. So now I'm just adding a little bit more concealer. This is um, a concealer that has a little bit more um, moisture to it. This is really, this is really, it's and it's not as thick as the other concealer, but this is going to add just a little bit more of a bright highlight underneath the eyes. One audition in particular that I don't think will ever make it out because I just don't think so, but I basically had to <laughs> sing and dance to, uh, I think it was a J-Lo song. I think it was Play. Remember Jan? <clears throat> she was Play, Play, my game song. And let's just say, <laughs> after I was done the casting with Jenny, she's like, I love you. Do you know why? And I was like, <sighs> She's like, because you just go for it, no matter what. And I was like, oh God, I think that's like <laughs> cue for, that's like another way of being like, thanks, but no thanks, <laughs> but like much respect <laughs> for how much you just embarrassed yourself. Now, not very many people are allowed to do my brows, but I love how to do them. It took me about five years to allow it to happen. Now I'm just like, okay. I released the rain. She's lying. She still takes a pencil and takes it. <laughs> I do it, but then I say, "Do can I just do my one little thing?" But I still do this. <laughs> stop me! Can't stop. Won't stop. What does that do for you? I don't know. I think it makes me feel like my eyebrows are more pushed. Like I don't know. I, I really, honestly, cannot explain it. But to me, it makes a difference. <laughs> She likes the center, the, the the center of the lips to look more pouty, and the ends to look more tapered. So you really always want to follow the outer lip line, and then as we get to the center, you want to overline just a little bit, so it gives you that like nice, kissable. Yes, lip. I don't like when people do like the liner up too far to the side. Oh, we can pull it in, and pull this up. It's all an illusion, people. Clearly. <laughs> so I'm putting on this color. Um, I can. I'm probably gonna be like. I think there's a 70, 75% chance <laughs> that Jenna's gonna wanna change it. So I'm gonna try and just to see if she wants it. I love that dude. You do? Yes. You gave me a 75% <laughs> chance. Hi everybody, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching Patrick create this date night look and let me know in comments below what you think and what other looks you want to see because they are magicians and i want to know bye